Hello again and welcome to uh, another of my daily vlogs, another one of my um, rants and it is, uh, what are we? We are Monday the 14th of March 2016. I sound like a robot. It's only because I'm tired and I've had a, a busy weekend. How's your weekend been? Are you looking forward to the week? I certainly am. I've got big things happening at the end of this week. I just want to really talk about um, the last video that I put out, just very brief briefly, being in the moment. I've uh, started being a little bit controversial, daring to say the things that other people um, won't say on video or won't actually say out there. We've got a, an instance here where ego has uh, taken over uh, people's um, intentions, taken over I don't, I've got to call it an industry, but I don't really want to call it an industry because it isn't an industry as such. But it's the ego has taken over a lot of um, psychic mediums and they've all forgotten what it's all about. They're strutting their stuff. They've got the titles. They've got psychic medium. They've got shaman. They've got healer. They've got fantastic signboards. You've got an image. They've got a Facebook presence. They go to these expos and they sit there and they've got all the fans coming to see them and they're all amongst themselves and they're being photographed with the, the well-known or the so-called well-known in the industry. That's ego. That's people who are ego-driven. That's people who are lost in a land of illusion as far as my, uh, my old mentor Paula would say, a year and a day. They're in yes so, um They've got to remember, you've got to remember if you're watching this that it isn't you that this is all about. It isn't you that wearing the title of psychic medium um, is for. It isn't you what um, communicating with spirit or so-called communicating with spirit is all about. It isn't you um, when you turn the cards and get your clients and get some popularity. It isn't you at all. That is your ego speaking. It's about the people. It's all about the service to the other communities, which is a community of the people that you're in and the community of the spirit world. They are the most important thing. And is they, the spirit world, the spiritual community over there that puts you where you are and people forget that. So just as easy as they can put you somewhere, they can take it away. That is a vital thing that people don't realize the power of the cosmos and the universe is phenomenal you are all being tested at the moment you're failing the first bloody test and i always state it and i've stated it a number of times that is controlling the ego you guys are in what i call a virtual reality a virtual landscape that the ego has created that is taking you away from the truth, that is taking you away from where you should be. Painting a pretty picture that all of you are looking at where you've got these wonderful ascended masters and they're giving you all this seventh dimensional information and you're linking to this and you're linking to that and they're telling you this and they're telling you that and then there is this wonderful, wonderful uh, landscape that has been painted where even the angels are coming down and they give you information and they're telling you this and they're telling you that. The information isn't actually getting you anywhere. You're just following your tails round and round the base of the mountain and you're following each other for direction you're all acting like sheep you're all hoping that one of you will find that little pathway up the mountain and then you're all going to follow you're all stereotyped unfortunately i have to be on my soapbox with this and say you're all stereotyped you're all the same and i actually blame those who who did the original teachings who told and i'm using the word they they i hate the word they they is the unknown if it goes wrong they said it if it goes wrong they did this and they told me to say that you you've got to take responsibility for your actions and what you say they is bullshit it's you you are responsible for your actions you are responsible for the effect that you have on people when you give your information to them. When their lives are screwed up because they are telling you bullshit and it's proven bullshit, they need to be tested. 
The only way to know what an entity is, or if an entity is as true as it says it is, you have to test it. You have to test it on your every day. You have to give give those entities um, a, a bit of rope to prove themselves. Only then can you work with them, and they then becomes a person, or they then becomes a recognizable entity. They, 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 they is deception. So I do blame the first teachers or the teachers who teach this clap crap that anything that you get in your head is mediumship. No, just because there's a thought in your head and just because there's a picture in your head and just because there's a word in your head and just because you're seeing something about a person's life, that does not make you a medium. And I'm getting quite irate here because I'm watching it. I'm watching it go on. Um, it really upsets me because um, I take a pride in the work this that I do. They are saying that. And they're channeling from such and such a dimension. And they are this and they are that. And it is all just an egotistical mishmash. It's very upsetting, very annoying. And I really don't care if I make friends or enemies with these videos. I have to be say able to what control I have to ego, say. be able to discern what is fact and fantasy, to be able to know what is true or false, to be able to know the effect that what you're saying is, to know what the effect of what you're saying on people will do. Um, that doesn't sound quite right, but to know the effect of what your words will do on a person and also to take the responsibility and the the bravery to take the information on board and say yes I said that and if you get it wrong yes you get it wrong you interpreted it wrong you in that moment you you didn't discern exactly what the symbolism or what the information was and you say okay yeah I can't get it right all the time and then you make an extra effort next time. It's all about learning. But this is the thing. When you have to start interpreting information and when you have to start plucking little pieces and making a storyline and, and assuming this and assuming that and, and make, make, make the storybook for a person, that isn't mediumship. Mediumship is when you know without a shadow of a doubt what the information is, where it's from, where everything is 100% where it flows and you get it exactly as was intended and it comes straight through. That's mediumship. When you have to say, I've got a picture here. Can you understand the tree on the wall? Oh, they're telling me there's a wall. Oh, that's right. That's, that's the photograph that, um, that your, your uncle... Oh, um, what's your uncle's name again? Oh, yeah, that Uncle Billy uh, uh, did. That's the painting. And... Um, yeah, what's, what, why am I getting uh, a car with a burst tyre? Um, oh, that's right, yeah, that's right. He did tell me that um, he, had, he had a crash before, before he died and he did puncture his tyre. That's right. And um, um, I've got a man here. Um, I've got a man here. Is that your father? Oh, 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 it's his grandfather. All right, that's right. He's telling me that he's your father's father and he wants to talk about your father. That isn't mediumship. That's, that's cold reading, that's guesswork, and at best, that's clairvoyance. Mediumship is when you say, and you say straight away, I've got your Uncle Billy here. He's talking about the photograph that he took of, the, of his favourite tree that you've got on the wall. And he's really concerned about that particular picture because um, he's, he's, really, he's really missing you guys. And he's telling me about the vehicle that um, he had a crash in just before he died. He hopes it's been repaired because that was his favourite vehicle. Something on the lines of that. I mean, I'm just, I'm just waffling at the minute, but that's more the mediumship than the guesswork that so many of you do. So at this point, I'm going to leave this, the daily vlog because it's got um, very light over here now. And I'm going to go for a little bit of a walk. I'm going to go for a wander. Uh, I've not had a wander on the Urambi Hills for a few days now and I'm going to muse over more things to actually talk about today. I might do a room reading, I might do um, a daily competition but I just want you guys to just um, take on board what I am saying. I'm, I'm doing it um, I'm doing it out of universal love because I'm really concerned for um, particularly for the people that are, um, are the recipients of this um, this 
deception because people are falling for, they see someone and they say they're a psychic medium and they say that this is this, 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 this. They get a false impression of what mediumship is and they get a real false impression of, of what we do and, and what, we, what, what we are. And no wonder there is such um, a bad name in our industry because there is so many charlatans and people jump, jumping on the bandwagon and claiming to be something that they, they are absolutely not. And we do need to wean them out. We do need to sort them out. We do need to uh, get people... Uh, realizing exactly what they are and what they are not so uh, I'm going to talk about um, more of this in uh, in later videos and I've also got um, the the awakening or the awaken to talk about as well um, I've got that in the back of my mind what I'm actually going to do there as well so watch out for more of these uh, videos and I'll see you guys later thank you bye here's the thing as well Everybody seems to be a, a teacher these days. Uh, I'm just saying, how can, how can you go out and teach when you barely learnt yourself, when you're still learning yourself? How can you go on a course and then two weeks later, you're passing those notes on and you're claiming to be an experienced teacher? That's a deception. That is a falsehood. And that really is ego talking. I'm sorry, but... Uh, this salt box really needs to be stood on at this at this moment in time. Um, when you are actually at a point of true self and core person and core belief and psychic awareness, the last thing you actually want to do is teach. It's uh, it's an ego thing as far as I'm concerned that's going on at this moment in time. And uh, yes, I uh, just had to put this down as a, a gripe of the day along with the, the other parts of the video. It really is this anomaly of how can you teach when you've just learnt yourself and you're still learning. It, it is a valid point. I've seen them all out there, the psychic mediums that are teachers as well and they are psychic development teachers yet they've only been in the industry two years, three years, five years. You can always judge a person's ability by the way that they do their readings and by the way that they, uh, what their philosophies are. And I'm sorry, but most of the philosophies that are going out are being put out as, as teachings are the, the same old, same old stereotype that we're, they're all pinching from each other. And I'm not putting myself above anybody in these videos. I'm just making valid observations, observations that need to be made and observations and things that have to be said because it is in such a mess at the moment that people are picking up a pack of cards. They're saying that they're um, a medium because they're getting little, the impressions in their head, the basic impressions in their head that you get when you first start. They're saying that's mediumship. They're then going out and they're teaching people the same stuff without actually knowing how the, the, the mediumship works. You need to ask these teachers, do they know how it works? Do they know how the mechanism works? How it works in the brain? What it is for? Where it's leading to? Because mediumship is one little blip, one tiny little dot on a mighty ocean. It is not the be all and end all that they are making it out to be. It is like I say, the way that the cosmos tests and at the moment the cosmos is not recruiting very many into actual true mediumship end of soapbox